We are in Bougie, France. B O U Bougie. I think it's Bougie. I think the G is, you, you pronounce some of it, <laughs> um, with Yves Deport's uh, Le Bureau. So um, this is a Ramato. Ramato is a basically an orange wine, um, but it's somewhere between, I guess, like a full orange and a rosé because it's a gray grape, you know, Pinot Gris, a Grenache Gris. The Gris grapes are what make Ramatos. Um, and normally when I see Ramatos, they're quite extracted. They're like dark and you're like whoa like that's a super heavy rosé like bordering on almost like a red wine um so this one I don't know exactly how long the uh skins were on but I think it was just for like a week or not very long obviously because we can tell just by the color from it um so I like that aspect about it and I thought it was gonna be nice to do um a shorter maceration orange ramato for spring and um, plus I just really like this producer so that's how it's here and we've already talked quite a bit about the color, but yeah, it's very like salmony. Would be easy to also um, uh, mistake it for a rosé, but uh, I think that once you kind of hear that explanation, it'll make a lot more sense. Um, so it's a zero zero wine, no sulfur added. Like I mentioned, skin contact, Pinot Gris. All right, so on the nose, on the top, it's like grapefruit and like. Uh, definitely like very citrusy like mandarins um a little bit pithy i would say on the bottom floral like like that's weird normally i get florals on the top but um like roses and maybe a more like on like the a little bit of lemon like a hint of lemon but more like uh like a what's it called the apple Maybe even like a Fuji apple. Honestly, I need to, I've only been eating honey crisp apples lately. So I feel like everything's a honey crisp apple. Um, but I think this is actually bordering more on like the Fuji style of apple. Anyways, just lots of different styles of citrus going on here, basically. So let's try it. Yum. That finish is delightful. It has just enough grip but so much less than, you know, a long maceration orange. But you'll feel it at the end. It's almost like this little, like, tightening in your mouth, but it's very balanced with the rest of the the wine. Um, the acid, I would say, is perfect. I don't know what they did with the leaves here, but it's it's not super round, so I'm going to assume that it probably didn't spend very much time with leaves. Um, it's, like, a little bit more, like, linear. Uh, but that skin contact makes gives it, like, a little bit of grip at the end, and it keeps it interesting. It's also going to make it really interesting for pairing. So um, it's not so, you know, hefty of an orange that you really have to have food with it. You could definitely drink this by itself. It's very tasty and refined. Um, but it could also, honestly, it could be one of the orange light wines. I don't know why I just did orange, but like, like light wines that you could put with what I would call the junk drunk foods. This would go well with pizza. It would go well with your chicken nuggies, maybe like barbecued chicken. It would go great with any of that. Um, but then it could also go lighter. You could do like, oh, this would be great with like salmon, like roasted salmon with some sort of like citrus sauce on it. Mm. Lots of options here. Very food friendly, but also, you know, an orange that you can just pop and drink by itself. Chill it by the pool. Enjoy. 